Uh, I thought I'd just shoot a quick video here on uh, kind of how VR works and uh, do something a little different and show what it looks like from infrared. I got my leap motion on my uh, headset here and I got the uh, uh, visualizer up here. It's working. All right, um, this is what my desktop looks like in infrared. Uh, screens are all on, but you can't actually see anything. It's actually um, that light you see there is the reflection off of the the, the front cam here. Uh, the leap motion projects the light out, so it can see the hands, you know, more easily. Because usually there's uh, not that much IR light in the uh, room, except for as you can see outside. There's uh, a lot of that comes in. You can see the. Um, uh, it kind of gets a lot noisier because it can't fight all that other light. Uh, and as you can see, you got the lighthouses here shining their lights. Um, but it's kind of cool looking in, in infrared because you can see things you can't with your eyes, obviously. Um, and I just thought I'd do a quick explanation here of uh, you know kind of how the general principle on how VR works. Um, in the camera, you can see. Hopefully, I can't really see where the camera's at, but. Um, you can see that it's all black but in the infrared which is what I'm seeing here with the uh, leap motion uh, these are either photodiodes or phototransistors or something um, and no matter which way you hold this you can always see that there's a couple uh, diodes in invisible range and uh, if you look at the controller, you can kind of see they're in the little divots. Well, the divots around that are opaque to IR, and so they occlude at very specific timings. And so then, when you look at the when the um, lighthouse spins around, it's uh, throwing out beams in a, a grid pattern. So that way, these will light up in a certain sequence, uh, and they can pretty much just do massing. Well, if I can see you at this point and just sync up um, when the laser is coming across and lighting up each one of these uh, and then saying okay well I seen these that means it must be in this orientation and if you get a second one you can start to triangulate some of that stuff because as long as these are whoa that is really screwed up uh, okay that was weird um, still sleep motions all right it's not the best but um, uh, yeah, so that's kind of the general pr principle. It just pretty much says what can you see, and uh, as long as these are in uh, a known location and a precise configuration, uh, that math is relatively easy to do instead of the image processing, like what the um, leap motion is doing right here. You know, it's trying to look at the hand. Um, sometimes it it's it. Uh, <laughs> it's trying to just look at okay, what can I see in the infrared. Uh, and this is actually binocular vision. The, the video is just showing my left eye. Um, and so you ask, instead of, it doesn't have any of these known positions, so it's looking at the reflections back, saying, okay, where, what is this? Um, you know, does that look like a finger? Does that look like a hand? Um, instead of just saying, yeah, I can see you. Uh, so it's a lot more challenging of a, a process because really this is like a stereoscopic infrared camera is all it is. Uh, and they're doing a bunch of image processing. Like, it, it satur well, it doesn't saturate, but it uses uh, a good deal of bandwidth. You need USB 3.0 just to do this. But um, I just thought it was kind of cool. Show what the world looks like in IR and a few things here. Like, just want to show you to get an idea that, like, you know, uh, give you an idea of what IR is like. This is a black mouse pad, but it's white. Um, and this is kind of cool. This is one of our prototypes for BitHeat. And um, this section here you can actually see uh, is gold. Uh, well, I guess you can see it on the camera too. Um, and it looks pretty much, it just looks a little bit more reflective than over here, which is mostly, um, you know, it's just solder mask over top of copper. And, you know, copper and gold are good conductors of heat. And towards that wavelength, they're very reflective. And so you're actually seeing on here, on this gold plating, is a reflection from the light coming off of this, just like the screens. Um, and you can probably actually even see it in the camera down there that 
there's a, a, a light in the center of it because it's going through the IR filter um, on the camera. You can do that with like any remote because those are all infrared also. Um, you know, that's a good way to check if the remote works. Not that anyone uses old-fashioned remotes anymore, but um, just shine it into your cell phone camera or something else and it should light up because it's infrared and cameras can see in that. And yeah, they actually have a filter in there to make sure um, it doesn't wash out uh, color. But as far as the depth map is concerned, you're trying to figure out where a hand is. You don't really care what color that is. You're just looking for the infrared. Uh, you're, you're trying to find the, the edges and stuff like that. That you know, color isn't going to tell you any useful information. Where infrared can um, you know, lower the the total bandwidth that you're trying to process. So there's less information, but you get the same. Uh, you know, it's more relevant information. But yeah, I just thought that was kind of a cool uh, thing to have. Uh, you know, just show what the world looks like in infrared. 